Silencing the noise and night action shots with noiseless AI is our topic today on Luminar Coffee Break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hello, everyone. All right, so now in the, the old days, and it's funny, we're talking, what, eight, nine years ago? ISO was huge. If, you, if your ISO was too high, yet the, the shots were unusable. Then they were all grainy, gross, and you couldn't use it. Nowadays, with the way the cameras are, we could shoot at higher ISOs and not sacrifice the quality. We also came up with lots and lots of noise reduction software over the years that helps us not just with the old cameras, but also with the new cameras. So I'm gonna dive right in. And I'm gonna use this shot here. And this right here was from an action shot, a uh, nighttime shot. Let's see what the camera settings were. All right, now this was shot with an old, let me zoom in. This was shot with an old Nikon Z, or D700 camera. And if you notice right here, let me get back out. There we go, zoom back in. ISO 6. 1,400, um, and I had to. And look at that, the shutter speed was 1 800th of a second. Oh my God. Typically in a shot like that, the shutter speed should be in an action shot about 1 12th hundredth of a second to 1 uh, 16th, hundred, 1 1,600th of a second, a uh, 1,600th of a second. That's what you prefer to shoot these sports uh, shots at 2.8. But you saw right there with that old camera, I had to drop it down to 800. So we did introduce a little bit of no, a little bit of camera shake, motion blur actually. And then the second thing, by shooting 6,400 with that camera, yes, we introduced a lot of noise and night didn't help at all. So watch how we get, we're gonna fix this. So here it is. And before I reset everything, Let's just zoom in a little bit so you can see. Look at his uniform, ready? Here's before. Look at that, all that noise. Here's after, all right? So, let me show you how I did this. And we'll get down here to edit. And I do wanna come in and just start off, there we go, right here. So. I already cropped it the way I want it. I got the image where I have it here. Now what I'm gonna do is this, I have two options. The more advanced option is using the extension, which is noiseless AI right here, right? But don't forget, we still had, or still have, denoise here, and we also have under develop, noise reduction here. All right, so we do have that if you don't have the extensions. They're just not as proficient as a noiseless AI. All right, so let me do this one right here for you first, just to show you, and I'm gonna boost it up. So I just took the luminosity, cranked it off, and the only way I'm gonna see it is if, I, if I'm at at least, you know, zoomed in, so I can see the difference with the, um, the noise. So, Color noise really isn't introduced in this image, but with the boost, I'm gonna crank that up. Luminosity, noise, I'm gonna fix that. Let's see, before, after. It still did a very good job. So the old technology still did a very good job, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna work with the newer technology. So I'm gonna come in, and last, before I get going, I do want to increase or develop the actual image itself. So I'm gonna take my exposure, I'm gonna leave it alone, but I am gonna bring in more of the, the smart contrast, dial down some of the highlights, you know, so the helmet and the white on the black will really pop. Shadows, I wanna decrease the shadows. So if I increase them, that's where you're gonna see all the noise in the shadows. So I'll move it down just a little bit. Already it's looking better. And then the black tone. 
And then the white tone, normally I go to the right. In this case, I'm going to darken it because I do want this to be a little bit darker. All right, let's see. Before, after, great. So we did the whole development part of it. Now, let's come up here to Noiseless AI and look at this right away. You can tell it's high because the advice it's giving us is it's telling us, hey, look, there's a lot of noise in this image. So it's going to come out and suggest high. So we'll solve that problem. Oh, there it is. Look at that. I can, I can add a little more sharpness to it. Detail and keep in mind, if you want to know exactly what each one of these sliders are doing, hit the, the preview button or the info button here, and you'll be able to see what it's suggesting. All right, so now that I have this set, before, after, let's do the noiseless, before, after you can actually see it, especially on his uniform, watch. Ready? Before, after, look how I was cleaning it up. Now, because of the 800th of a second, let's, it was, the motion blur was introduced. So I'm gonna come in and let's just start with the middle. And I'm leaving it universal. So once I fix the noise in a night shot like this, I do wanna make sure it's sharpened because if, like you saw there, I had to photograph at a lower shutter speed than I, than I wanted to. And actually, you know what? Let's see, I'm gonna go low. Medium was just a little too much or a little too aggressive. And we'll see what that does. All right, not bad, but you know what? Let's see what motion blur does at low. And again, I don't wanna go overboard to where it looks fake, but at the same time, I do wanna to try to fix, oh, there we go. I do wanna fix some of the, um, some of the motion that I'm seeing. Look at that, you can already see it. Even without being zoomed in, look how it just bops a little extra clarity to it. All right, so let's look overall. So here's the image, which I love this shot, before and after. All right, well, there we have it. Now, the rule of thumb is this. Don't, set, don't miss a shot because you, you're afraid that your ISO is so high, deal with it afterwards. Now do everything you can. Now obviously, in this particular image, if I had an f-stop of, of 11, well I have room to play. I can move that f-11 way down. I mean, let's say um, some of the more user telephoto lenses typically go to f-4. Well that right there is definitely gonna take that 6400 ISO and probably shoot it up to, what? Oh my God, 128,000? So the newer cameras can handle that, no problem. The older cameras, there's no way they could, but now that you have noiseless AI, will help you fix those situations when you're out there photographing and you have to use high IS, uh, ISO, all right? Well, that's great. Now, guys, if you're watching this other rebroadcast, you're welcome to join us because we do have the insiders group. Uh, we recorded this live in front of them. And at the end of this um, broadcast, they, they're going to stick around and join us for the Ask Me Anything segment where they can ask any questions what they want whatsoever based on the topic today, photography, what's new in the industry, you name it. It's a wealth of information with a really, really good group of uh, people. So if you're interested and you're able to join us, click on that link right there for the Zoom meetings. If you're not able to, you're stuck at work and you're watching this on a rebroadcast, thank you for watching. Um, and for the rest of you, please stick around. And for everyone else, we'll see you at the next coffee break.